the media and press, uh, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, thanks for coming over for part of our factory launch of Traub Nutrition at Jetsella. So to know more about what Traub Nutrition plans and what this factory is all about, I have with us here uh, Dr. Saurav Shekhar, who is MD of uh, uh, Manning Dental of South Asia for the entire Traub Nutrition, who is over here. He would probably give you a better insight uh, into the various aspects, the plans, and the details about the factory. Without wasting much of time, over to Dr. Sarah. Thank you, Captain. Uh, good afternoon. Swagata, Mariu Namaskar. So, uh, just I'll brief about the company, and then if you have uh, any questions or doubt, uh, just ask me in between also, or we'll take the questions at the end. Uh, in Telugu, I will not be able to answer, so I have asked my colleague Praveen to join in. So uh, feel free to ask questions. So just giving a brief about Crown Nutrition and who we are. So talking about Made in India, because this is how we are. And that is why we have constructed this company even in pandemic situation. So, uh, message from uh, Mr. Martin, who is uh, our chief guest. He is a Dutch uh, ambassador to India. Unfortunately, because of pandemic situation, nobody is traveling. Our internal audience can travel, uh, taking that risk. But we had avoided uh, other guests to come in to make sure that we take utmost precaution and safety uh, for human health. So, just a message from him. Dear all, my name is Martin van der Berg, and I'm the Dutch ambassador to India. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be here, although it's only digital. But today, we are all going digital. We are all living in very challenging times due to COVID-19. But at the same time, we should learn how to turn challenges into opportunities. As many countries, India faces a huge economic crisis. But at the same time, India is also looking for opportunities. For opportunities and attracting foreign companies to increase the Indian share in global value chains. Many foreign firms are already very, very long time here in India. And also, many Dutch firms have a large footprint in India. But today, we are here for Town Nutrition, an arm of the Netherlands based Nutrico. It has more than 90 years experience in the fields of animal field and nutrition. Starting their operations from the Netherlands, they have been able to successfully capture the animal feed market globally. Traum Nutrition India had started its operations in the year of 2013 with a single sales representative and now has grown to an impressive 57 member strong team. <coughs> it's spectacular to see a huge investment of about 20 million euros to set up two animal nutrition and feed manufacturing facilities in India. Trau Nutrition has put in a great amount of efforts in fundamental innovative research for feed, thus forming the basis for improved animal welfare worldwide. And the India has a great potential to become one of the most important dairy producers in the world by improving productivity through breeding and feeding the output can be easily doubled and even tripled, which is the mantra of the current government to double the income of the farmers by 2022. Using innovative and sustainable solutions, India can become an important exporter of dairy products for global consumption. India and the Netherlands are natural partners in agriculture, natural partners in dairy. India is the world's largest producer and consumer of milk, and the Netherlands, having 5% of the world dairy trade, therefore is a natural partner for India. And therefore the Dutch dairy sector is looking for collaborations with India. India has a tremendous untapped potential in this sector. And similar to the Netherlands, the Indian agricultural sector is family based. And this makes it easier for us to understand the challenges of Indian farmers. More than 17, 17 million rural households are engaged in milk production. After having a global health crisis like COVID-19, it is important that the people of the world consume safe food. Trial nutrition is committed.
committed to the cause of responsible usage of antibiotics and food safety. Thus having a manufacturing unit in India can only help in increasing productivity per animal to feed the growing population. The Netherlands has demonstrated that these technologies have attained good production levels. And now the next step is to ensure sustained growth of livestock. Dutch dairy companies are innovative and dynamic in nature. They all have one thing in common, strive to produce more with less, to contribute to the health of animal and the environment, and to achieve the highest quality products for human consumptions. In the Netherlands, we believe in the triple helix model. Industry, government and research institutions working together. This is particularly important for increasing animal productivity and create sustainable solutions to prevent the spread of infestations and diseases in animals. Worldwide changes are happening fast today. I just named climate change, growing demand for quality products and the growing pressure on agricultural land. Sorry, uh, so uh, the technical bench, uh, but uh, no worries. The message from ambassador is very clear. So we had gone through uh, those messages, and uh, I'll just pass it on to you uh, for the rest of the uh, his uh, communication. Is mainly that Dutch agriculture and dairy sector plus poultry is quite advanced. They work with government, private uh, partnerships, and research institutions to make sure that the productivity per animal goes up significantly. Right? They cater around 5% of the daily uh, production in the world, but you see the quality uh, what is produced in the Netherlands. So I'll give you one or two examples to just compare the benchmark between in India and the Netherlands. So uh, in India, we are the largest producer of the milk in the world, right? but we have the largest number of animals. The productivity per animal is around 4 liters in India compared to the Netherlands, which is around 40 liters. So that shows the significant gap into the production capacity and capabilities. The genetics has come from India. So the biggest breed in India is Holstein Frisian for dairy. And Holstein and Frisian Frisian is an area in the Netherlands, right? So uh, it has come from there. The genetic potential is at optimum. The next big thing is the environment and nutrition. So nutrition is where we play a very critical role. And this facility, which is for premix and feed additives, will play a very major role in maintaining and increasing the productivity of our animal in India. Dear all, my name is Sonny from Aguirre and I'm Dutch. Yeah. Now coming to who we are, uh, so we are from a company called Nutrico. Nutrico is world's leading uh, company for aqua nutrition and animal nutrition. And we have two brands. If you see market facing, there are two brands. One is Trauma Nutrition, uh, this facility. And which is an animal nutrition division of Nutrico. Then we have Stretching, which is the aqua nutrition division for Nutrico. So Stretching is also based out of, uh, in India, we are based out of Mumbai. And we are putting up a facility nearby to Surat, the place is called Mount Road. This facility will be operational in 2022. Then we have Nutrico, New Frontiers. So New Frontiers is a very interesting concept, right? So today, Trauma Nutrition and Stretching are relevant today. And we know that will be relevant till the human population exists. But we are looking at the new emerging trends globally, something like vegan meat, right? Something like insect proteins, something like land-based salmon. So for these kind of things, which are more futuristic, we have a separate division called New Frontiers, and which invests into future. So they have invested into nine companies globally. And in India also, they have invested into a company called Iruvaka, which is Vijayawada based and an internet of things company which is helping aqua farmers to produce more through a pond management system. Very rich history, so uh, this company was established in 1899 
and uh, that was steady. Then Tron Edition came into picture. It is a family owned business established in 1931, so 90 years of rich history. And what we had done globally with a consistent quality and productivity that is now being present in India. Uh, we are part of uh, one of the largest family owned businesses in the world. And to take you through that, Nutrico was bought by SHV, uh, which is, I told you, is a family owned business uh, based out of Netherlands. And SHV operates into five different segments. One, the biggest one is energy, then food, which comes with Nutrico. Then you have Mammoths and Eric's, which is heavy lifting and uh, transportation, heavy transportation company. Then uh, we have Macro, which is a retail company, retail chain, uh, similar to Metro, cash and carry what you have in India. So that we are, then we have two investment companies, which is MPM Capital, which is invest like any other venture capitalist. And then one Deas, which is an investment company for oil and gas ventures. So established in 1996, started with coal trading in Netherlands. And then uh, the turnover was around 19.2 billion euros in 2019. Currently we are present in 58 countries through our separate businesses, different businesses. And 55,000 people work for us. Now, Nutrico, uh, as I told, there are two brands, Stretting and uh, Chow. Both the mission is feeding the future. And why this mission is so compelling for all of us who work here, even for all our stakeholders, internal and external, is that the population is growing significantly. And there is tremendous pressure on the planet at this point of time. If you see currently, we are utilizing resources of more than one and a half planets. And by 2025, when you add another 1.5 billion headcount, then you need to produce more to feed that kind of population. So we are here to produce the solutions which are more sustainable, more environment friendly and of very high quality. Because you know that uh, the challenges, if you see, now coming to challenges, what challenges we are facing? Growing middle class, the best thing is that there is a growing middle class which has discretionary income to spend more and now they are spending more and more of their work to food. And during pandemic, if you have seen, people have become even more conscious on spending on quality and safe food. The other challenge is, the supplies are struggling. So, one example I'll tell you. India was maize, that is corn surplus till 2019. And in last quarter of 2019, for the first time we imported corn from Ukraine. That shows that how commodities are so volatile and where the animal industry is competing with the human food chain for raw materials. This is going to be even more dynamic going forward. Then we have definitely other uh, challenges which is into animal welfare. If you go to Andhra Pradesh which is one of the largest uh, layer bed, the biggest challenge was that government has given an uh, indication and recommendation that two sites should be of minimal this size. Right? And the case sizes had increased significantly which will increase the cost of production. And that was because of the animal welfare that they want to produce more eggs but the hens should be into a good environment. The other thing is, we are looking at public health safety concerns now. You must have seen a lot of news on milk adulteration, not very rampant here in South India, but up north, uh, we are facing a big challenge. The second one is aflatoxin content into feed, which impacts our own uh, health. And we are very critical component of entire four, our farm to fork. And that's how you see that if all these things you put together, trial nutrition has the solutions and efficiencies which can be work as a bridge between all these to produce more meat, milk and egg. Now, Trow company, uh, Trow Nutrition has different operations and this I will not take you much in detail, but that shows that we are into the entire production chain, right, from uh, genetics to animal nutrition to feed, then premises and feed additives, then processing also. So we are one of the largest feed manufacturers in North America. We are one of the biggest processors and retail uh, chains in Spain. And then uh, we have different companies which is into different species, which is uh, uh, swine, dairy, and poultry. This is specifically for trout nutrition I'm talking about. Now trout, very interesting, right? So uh, trout is pronounced as trout in Dutch, and that means uh, loyal. And why this is so important for us is that we want to remain loyal to our customers, to our stakeholders, to our employees, to make sure that whatsoever we do is mutually beneficial and sustainable. And that is very critical when every company, every other company is talking about customer centricity. 
being loyal and earn that trust from your partners, right from your vendors to your suppliers to your customers is going to be very critical if you really want to grow the business into a sustainable way. Now this facility where you are sitting, uh, based out of Hyderabad, why Hyderabad? The first thing is centrally located, ease of doing business is definitely significantly high and we have seen that when we are building our factory that the government was very cooperative, our DSIC was uh, uh, complementing in each of our steps where we are, uh, we are going to seek the help and uh, that's how we say that this is the ideal place to do business to be very frank. And the other thing is logistically, we are well connected, centrally located. We have a dry port in Hyderabad, well connected to other ports which is Chennai and uh, Vishalapatnam. So, but other than that is that this is the hub of poultry and aqua. So if you see the coastal west, uh, sorry, east coast, this is the entire stream production, 80-85% of the stream production happens in this area. Same for poultry, uh, we have a big around 30-35-40% of the broiler production happening in this cluster. Then layers, we have more than 60% eggs being produced here. Now, of late we have seen a trend happening in East, Northeast and Bihar. But earlier, a year back, all the eggs were supplied from Andhra. So that is why this was our obvious choice. Uh, we have also a customer service lab in Jaya, Gachi uh, which is for customers because customers can't send their samples here and they can't walk in to judge their life every time. So we had built a customer service lab in uh, Jaya and Grave so that customers can get uh, benefit of all their feed, uh, milk samples, water samples to get tested and raw materials also. And that is all free of cost at this point of time. It's a more of a customer service uh, which we are building to make sure that they get the best quality in raw materials and finished goods.